Okay, I'd like to demonstrate this magnetic coupler. I have here steel discs and I have here a block with two magnets on it. The magnets are arranged such that they complement each other. Um, and then I've got two supports here. Each one is threaded quarter 20 and I have quarter 20 bolts here. And uh, the distance between these two is such that if I took out all this stuff in the middle, I could run a threaded rod through here and they wouldn't bind. So <clears throat> this distance is critical to not binding. So now if I turn the driver screw, then as, it, as the magnets approach the steel disc, one of them will engage. And then when both engage, you can see I'm, I'm starting to turn. I'm going to use an electric screwdriver to move it faster. And an added benefit is I can go in the opposite direction and uh, unscrew it. So if I didn't have the magnets, I could probably drive this screw to the left, but <clears throat> as soon as I reversed it, they're just gonna come apart. So that's an advantage to the magnetic coupler. Uh, initially, I thought the magnetic coupler would let me get away without having that critical spacing, but it turned out not to be true. But I can now un unhook them. And you can see that they turn independently, right? but I can always just put this, drive this one back in, and they're together again. So I use this in a puzzle that I made for my son-in-law, um, but it's going to be a while before you see the article. Uh, it's going to be published in one of the magazines that Village Press has. So. Sorry, I can't share that detail with you, but uh, there might be an application in here somewhere for you. So if you do find some use in it, please let me know. Uh, you can put it in the comments. Be interested to hear.